Today's vehicle has been provided to us by Parkview BMW. For any information pertaining to this or any other BMW, do contact the sales staff at 416-444-4269. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Roll Out Guys. My name is Elton Felix and I thank you for joining me today because we're going to be looking at this, the 2019 BMW 330X Drive. We have more power in the, in the front. We have more torque. We have a longer wheelbase. We have more space. We're on the windy back roads and I thank you for joining me. We have an exciting show in store. Let's go. Nice sound. And just like that, 100 kilometers have already gone by. This four cylinder with 255 horsepower and 295 foot pounds of torque will rocket you to 100 clicks in 5.3 seconds. We have a longer wheelbase. It's now up from 111 to 112. That is even bigger than the E39 5 Series. In this three series, we've got more tech than you would find in the 2010 7 series. Hey, BMW. Hello, what can I help you with? Today on these windy roads, we're gonna be looking at the three series. Of course, we've already put it into sports mode, which will give us more, a more dynamic vehicle. You see, the three series have always been known to be precise fantastic on the twisty roads we've got the bmw legendary x drive that puts more power to the back wheels to give you that push around the corner feel and on these twisty roads you definitely feel it the front wheel bites and you get a little bit feedback coming back through the steering a little bit better than that of the f30 i might say now even though the roads are not perfect you can definitely feel the suspension working it is tightened up and I love what BMW has done. Even when you're in sports mode, you can have a stiff suspension, but a soft steering. That is pretty cool. Most people have complained about the steering wheel being overly heavy. No more of that. The car feels very composed. Now it doesn't have that pinpoint accuracy that you would find in the E90, but it's still very good. Now that the suspensions have tightened up and on these uneven roads, you start to feel a little bit of a bumpiness in the car. But again, that should be expected. The weighting in the steering wheel is actually very, very good. And the car feels pretty balanced. I always love an all-wheel drive system that puts more power to the back because it gives you a fantastic feel in the corners. The only thing I find that is a little bit lacking is the braking, that sharpness in braking that you would get or you used to get in, let's say, the E90 or the E46. It just seems to bite much better than this G20. You see, personally for me, I think this four-cylinder gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you great acceleration and the fuel economy of 7.2 liters on the highway. 10.2 in the city it's exceptional it's a complete car the 2019 BMW 3 series let's tone things down and see what it's like once you start to relax now putting it into eco mode you definitely hear a difference in the engine the car becomes quieter and that is due in part because they are piping sound in through the speakers if you're standing on the outside when it's stopped it doesn't have that smooth and refinedness that you would find in the straight six now the vehicle becomes absolutely so quiet you feel the difference in ride and you can definitely tell that BMW is Bridging that gap between what you would find in a Lexus, in a Mercedes, or even the Audi. The price point has changed. It was starting at $48,850 and it is now at 49000 
The weight has increased because of that longer wheelbase by 128 pounds. It is now 3,763 pounds. But you will appreciate the space that it gives you in the back because me being six foot two, I'm so comfortable in the back there and my knees are no longer making contact with the seats like its predecessors. The cargo capacity is 16.9 cubic feet and you have a 40-20-40 rear split. So it has given you more comfort. The refinement in the cabin is second to none. It is absolutely so quiet driving here on these back roads or even on the highway there's zero wind noise so you will appreciate this 3 series even more than before so you've got a combination of efficiency enough power and refinement to rival anything out there if you're driving a mercedes or an audi you have a ride quality that is second to none because of the adaptive dampers that are equipped on this vehicle. The seats in this 3 Series is absolutely so comfortable. And they've given you the bolsters that are good enough. And of course, if they're not tied on you, you can adjust them to your liking. Some may like it and some may not. If you're accustomed to the old school like I am, with the older gauges, the analog gauges to me look a little bit better. The reverse tachometer, and I'm sure if you've been online and looking at the 3 Series, you know many have talked about it, but again with everything, it's new and you have to get used to it. You got the speedo on the left and the tachometer, they're both going to reach each other up at the top. The 3 Series will be one that will convince the Mercedes driver, but will do enough for the BMW hardcore. It gives you enough that makes it quite pleasant. 